Hi, Michelle from Birdcage and Thread here with a tutorial showing you how to make this rope handle for the Small Retreat Bag by Emmeline Bags. This pattern is a free pattern and can be downloaded from emmelinebags.com and the frame hardware can also be purchased from the same website. This handle is an add-on feature and is optional. The Retreat Bag pattern is available in two sizes However, this technique is not recommended for the large. There's two ways to insert the handle. One is to knot behind each of the eyelets. The other, which I'll show you in this tutorial, is to do a single loop with one knot knotted on the inside. So let's get stuck into the tutorial by firstly taking a look at what you'll need to make the handle. To make the retreat bag rope handle, you're going to need some eyelets and sometimes they're known as grommets and you'll need to get the quarter inch size meaning the hole in the center there is quarter inch across in the metric system that's about six millimeters then you're going to need some cord or some rope about half a yard or half a meter and again the diameter needs to match the eyelet which in this case is quarter inch or six millimeters. If you've never set an eyelet before you're going to need a setting tool and when you buy these eyelets sometimes you can buy it with the setting tool. The first step in making the rope handle is to add some extra interfacing to reinforce the grommets. So firstly take your outer pieces and prepare them with just the SF101 interfacing only. Don't add the fleece just yet. Then you're going to cut two extra pieces of SF101 interfacing, both measuring two inches square. Next, place the two outer pieces wrong sides together, and then you need to decide which end you want your handle. I'm going to place mine on the left. So now open the two outer pieces like a book with the end you want your handle as if it were the spine of the book. and place the two side pieces together. Now you're going to place the extra interfacing two and a half inches up from this bottom corner here and lining up the other edge with the edge of the interfacing on the outer. Then you're going to fuse these squares to the back of the interfacing as it is now. Then once you've done that you can mark the outer fabric with a removable marker just so you know which side your extra interfacing is on. Now you can fuse your fleece to the wrong sides and continue on with the pattern as it's written right up to the point of inserting the frames but don't insert them just yet. Now your bag is complete minus the frames. So firstly you're going to open up your bag and go to the end that you added the extra interfacing. In my case it was the left side. Then you're going to measure up three inches from this bottom corner. So you can see the three inch mark there, you're going to measure up three inch and then from that seam line there you're going to measure outwards one and a quarter inches and make a mark. Then you do the same on the other side, measure up three inches from that seam and one and a quarter inches out from that side seam there and make a mark. Now you're going to make holes for your grommets or your eyelets, whatever you call them. I start off with a small tool and make an initial hole. And then do the same on the other side. So that's got that started. Then you cut a small hole, much smaller than quarter inch because you don't want to cut out a quarter inch because then the fabric will stretch. So you, you just want to cut out a very small hole so that the fabric can stretch over the grommet.
Then you're going to insert one of the grommet ends through that. And you may need to adjust your hole if it's not going through. But it's better to start off small and then gradually get larger. Just as a tip with your eyelets, you'll notice that the eyelets have two different sized holes. This one's smaller, this one's larger. You want to insert the one with the smaller hole from the outside. And then flip it over and push the fabric around the hole, around the eyelet. And then you'll take the one with the larger hole and place that over the top. Then you'll take your eyelet setter and hammer that in place. Now that your eyelets are inserted, we're going to make the rope handle. So take your rope or cord, again it's half a yard, and I've just put some tape over the end to make threading through the grommets a little easier. So take the rope or cord and you're going to start on the inside, thread it through the eyelet, pull it through remembering to leave a tail at the back. Then thread that end through the other hole or the other eyelet and pull it through. And that looks about a good length there. You can make it as long or as short as you like. Just remember it's a handle so you have to be able to grab onto it. Then from the inside you're just going to do a square knot. So you're going to go right over left Thread it through and just pull it taut so it doesn't pull from the outside and then you're going to do left over right. And then just pull that knot taut. Now before you cut anything off just make sure the handle is the size you want, you're happy with that. Then you just snip off the excess cord. You'd probably be best to put a uh, some fray check or some glue on the ends to stop the cord or the rope from unravelling. Then it's just a matter of inserting your frames into the top section here. Then your bag is complete. I hope you enjoyed this rope handle tutorial and thanks for watching.